Good afternoon, everybody. So, um, actually, it's kind of late, late afternoon, but um, today I was going to do the uh, tomahawk video for you guys and uh, show you guys how to make that. Had a little bit of trouble finding uh, the right rock. It's the place I get my rocks is like two and a half hours away from me, closer to uh, if you know geography of Alabama and Georgia. I live in North Georgia, but it's it was it's closer to the Alabama line, so uh, it's like two and a half hours for me to actually find my good rock space. And I wasn't able to make it up there this week, so I have a rock, but it's not exactly what you want to use. Um, it's the right, it's, you know, it's a good thickness, but um, it's sort of sedimentary, so it's going to, if you hit it on something, it's going to break. But I just thought I would just use this for the tutorial, just to show you guys how to do it. Um, so you'll need to find a rock that's about like this shape. Um, you can find them in creeks and rivers and things like that. Dry riverbeds are the best because you can find practically any shape rock you want within a matter of a couple of minutes. As far as this goes, I had to dig through the creek to find one um, over by my house. So it's not exactly the right kind of rock but it'll work for this to show you guys how to make this thing. Um, then you're gonna need a handle. So I just got this, I just cut this, and um, I actually like to make them cut where there's a curve. Uh, I really like the curve in these things. I don't know why, it just seems like it makes a better handle um, instead of just a straight stick. But uh, just cut you a nice, you know, good length, good length on that. And uh, next thing we got to do is make a notch. So we're going to notch out our wood so that this will fit down here. Now you want to have a little bit protruding up so that you can tie off and use to tie it off of. Say you want to cut down, you know, you get good, you can see it better from this angle, you know, where you need to cut down to. I would say cut down to probably about right here, just to give you a little bit of enough on top so that you can have something to help tie it down and keep it in place once you're done. And what we're going to use for that is artificial sinew. Um, I don't hunt, so um, or I don't hunt on a regular basis as far as you know going out in the woods and killing deer. So I don't have real sinew, um, or else I would be using real sinew. Now another thing you can use, which is really good, is uh, you can go get some uh, naga hide. Um, you can go to any supermarket, any Walmart, any pretty much anywhere that has dog supplies and get a naga hide bone. And what you want to do is you just boil that in some water or let it sit in some water, warm water, and it'll soften up. And you can unroll that and cut it into strips. And when you want to use it to wrap to wrap your uh, your head of your tomahawk into your wood, you can use that. And you know, while it's wet, get it on there as tight as you can. And then when it dries, it'll shrink and hold it on there really good. Um, I don't use that method. I just use sinew, and that seems to work really well because sinew is really, really strong. So, um, especially the artificial sinew, it's strong as well. But I'll show you how to wrap that on too. Um, so what I'm going to do next is I'm going to cut my notch in my wood and get it ready to put the head inside the wood there. So I'm going to do that and I will be right back to show you after we fit the head, I'll show you how to wrap it in there. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys what I use to cut this with just in case because I don't want you to think that, you know, I'm just like, oh yeah, I'm going to cut this notch, I'm going to show you how to cut it. So, I'm using my uh, Gomboy Silky um, Curve and to get a good slice right here. I want to go in the middle and I want to follow this curve. So I want my curve to be like this. So I want to make sure that it's parallel to the curve so that I get my blade placement right. And then just make small grooves this and if 
you got a power saw um, and you don't mind using uh, non handles to do this, I would suggest a power saw. It's and it's faster, and you can just cut out, you know, whatever length you want, wherever you want to get that, you know, in there, so that you can. But I'm just gonna do this and saw it all. And uh, when I get this saw sawed out, I will be right back with you. Okay, so now that we have our notch made and it's all sawed out, we can go ahead and fit our stone in there. And you want to make sure it fits in there quite well. Make sure you got enough room for the bottom and the top. We're going to do it this way. But once you get that in there, squeeze, try to squeeze this as tight as you can with your hand. So if you squeeze this, you want to make sure that this rock is not going to move. So that way you know when you get your wrapping on here, it's not going to move. Um, if you have dry wood, like if it's been sitting out for a while, you can actually take that wood and soak it in some water or you can heat it to make it more pliable. Um, you can heat it over a campfire, over a lantern, whatever to make it more pliable to bend. Um, or you can take it and you know stick it in some boiling water for a little while until it softens up and bend it too. And all we gotta do now is just wrap it. And that's pretty much it besides doing the decorations, which, um, I think I'm going to make uh, the next video will be how to decorate it, um, which should be fairly easy. And you can decorate it any way you want. Um, I just really like making these things. They're simple and they're easy, and there's really nothing to them. The biggest thing is just finding a rock that's going to work. And the fatter round stones, you can sharpen these up quite a bit. A lot easier to actually you know if you find a good uh, stone river stone that's solid that's not a sedimentary rock like this one you can actually take and I guess I could show you guys how to do that too but you take uh, your rock and you find a bigger rock uh, inside the creek or whatever and to grind these ends down you take some sand from Take some sand from the, uh, you know, from the bottom of the creek or river. You put it on top of that rock, and you put a little water on there, and you just rub it. You just keep, just keep rubbing it down and grinding it down like that into a point. So you're rubbing it and grinding it down into a point, and that's how I get the point on uh, on Bjorn's. Was just rubbing it. You could just keep rubbing it on sand and getting it to sand down the rock. Um, but that's how you would do that and I can show you how to do that but it takes like it takes hours and days to actually get a point on one of these things because it, it takes forever to grind it down to a point so it's not so simple to do that but you know just to make a, a war club or a decoration piece this is really easy to do so we just find our thread and then want to loop it around the top. And you can just make a simple knot. It doesn't have to be anything extravagant at the beginning because you're going to be wrapping this thing around a million times. The, uh, the, top, knot, the top loop doesn't even have to be tight because you're going to go straight from here around the bottom. So it's really, you're going to go straight from here around the bottom. So it's really easy. Just make your, your loop at the top and you're just going to go straight down like this. And then in an X pattern, you're just going to keep winding this stuff around. go one way and then come to the other side 
and do it the other way. And just keep figure eighting it, basically back and forth, back and around, go around that part, do another X. And what I like to do is actually take take my sinew and get it to where it's like on the on the spool, so you can get a really good tight wrap. Just keep going around and around. Just go around like that. Actually, I'm going to go get my other sinew because it works a lot better. This is a lot thinner than what I thought it was going to be, so I'll be right back and go grab it. Okay, so now we're just going to take our sinew. I'm going to use this black sinew. It's a lot thicker than the other stuff, so I think it's going to work a lot better. You just take it. And you're going to wrap it in an X pattern around your rock. You're going to go one way. I don't know if you can see that. But you're going to go one way around it. That. And you're going to come around the top. And then go the other way around. So that's going to cinch. That's going to cinch your your stick around this around this stone. So you just keep wrapping it as tight as you can. Just pull your pull your spool pretty tight. Keep going around and around in an X pattern, just like that. Just going to keep Xing it. Go around the other side of the top, pull it tight, and then exit the other way. And you're just going to keep doing that. Just keep Xing it, and then you can go around the bottom of it. The next switch around. So you're going to X, and then go around the bottom, so that you can get your you can get your bottom done. So you're going to twirl that around like that. And you just keep doing that until it's nice and tight and you have enough to keep it on there. Every once in a while, just check your rock. Make sure your head's not going to move anywhere. You're on the right path. So as long as that head does not move, you're, you're golden. You can even tap it on the ground every once in a while just to make sure that you're you know it's it's actually going pretty good it's not going to move but once you get it in there and get it tight the first few rounds it should be good just wrap it for extra extra um tightness just keep doing that just keep wrapping it in the x pattern you feel like you have enough and cut it bottom then you're just going to knot it off at the bottom 
make sure it holds tight. Man, something's upsetting those dogs over there. They're going crazy. There you go. There's your tomahawk. And that's how you make a basic tomahawk. Like I said, this is just a war club. It's for smacking people over the head with when they get out of line. Um, but basically, I mean, that's it. There's really nothing to it. It's not, it's not that difficult. Like I say, the most difficult thing is the stone. See, I mean, you can pound this guy around not going to move. You can dig with it, do pretty much anything. It's still sturdy in there. So that's your basic tomahawk. I mean that's basically a basic war club uh, type tomahawk and uh, they would use those in battle um, more, more than you know cutting down trees and things with. Um, they would also use a wooden club. Um, the Creeks and uh, Korea here, I can't even say that word. I am not good at saying some words. Wooden clubs too, they would carve them out of roots, make a, make a on one end, uh, and you know, just to, so it would be like this, but it would have carved out of the end. And they would use that all um, Also, you guys, this it's a, it's a uh, bag, and you basically have you can use you know this in your fire kit. I don't know if you can really see it that good. It's getting kind of dark out here, but it's just basically. Uh, a bag you can put stuff in. I use it to keep all my fire equipment. Um, just a fire pouch, keep, you know, flint and steel, things like that in, but it's just a turtle shell with a buffalo tooth uh, to keep the pouch closed and some leather sewn onto the, uh, sewn onto the turtle shell. And then just some nice little fringe there for decoration. But um, I think part two of this, I'll just show you guys how to decorate these things. So um, the next video, I'll just show you how, how to decorate it. You know, put some leather on there, how to strap leather on there. Um, beads, feathers, uh, anything you want. But this is your basic, uh, your basic war club tomahawk. And, um, you know, like I said, you want to use river rock. You don't really want to use like a sedimentary rock like this because eventually this will break. If you hit it on another rock, it's going to shatter. Um, I was just using this one for the demonstration. And um, I think what I'll do is I'll... I want to make one and uh, get... So I really want to make a, uh, a really tomahawk, maybe even a grooved axe, um, which a grooved axe is basically you have a round river rock but you sand a groove halfway through it all the way around so that it fits and it kind of bowls out on both sides. So you have like an end in the middle of the rock where, the, where your handle goes and then both sides bowl out. So I think I might, and when you, when you sharpen, grind the end down to make an edge. So I think I'll make one of those and uh, have a giveaway. Um, when I reach, reach a thousand follower or a thousand subscribers away and, um, that way it'll actually make it and, uh, show you guys, show you guys in videos how that's progressing and show you the progress of the, of the stone and getting it ground out and everything like that. And, uh, yeah, cause I really think the way would be really cool to do, especially one of these, um, on a, on a bigger scale and uh, we'll 
will show you guys next time how to um, do a short it's a short video but we'll do that I think that would be pretty cool and, um, if you want I can show you how to make the shell bags um, you know you can use them for mini tiny haversacks to not hold much of anything or you can use it as like your fire kit you can keep your flint and steel in there char cloth in there um, you know stuff like that but they just look pretty cool I think and I think that's going to be it for today um, so I really appreciate you guys watching any questions on this thing just let me know I'm going to try to lighten up the video because it's getting dark out guys have a good night and I will see you next time.